Laura here. <laughs> um, you might hear some banging going on because um, the kitchen's been demolished. And um, I thought I'd taped all this this morning, but I had some technical difficulties. And when I came to edit, I discovered I didn't have any sound. <laughs> so um, this video is about the revolution the Emily Wants palette. And I'm going to do four looks, one for each season for this palette. And I'm actually wearing one of the looks today, but I have changed it a little bit. So this is the summer look. And um, I'm wearing the Focal Law Platinum. I don't know why I can never say plat platin Platinum. Platinum. I have trouble with that word. My tongue just doesn't want to go around it. So I'm wearing this on my eyes, which... I didn't in the actual look and I changed my lipstick as well because it's the afternoon now and I decided to have a change and I'm using my Rimmel Be My Baby Matte lipstick with my L'Oreal gloss on top so the look is a little bit different from what it was in my um, summer video but that's basically what I'm wearing and now I'm just rambling <laughs> So, this is the um, Emily Wants palette. And let's get into the first look. So, I think I'll start off with an autumn look. And I'm going to start off with using my e.l.f. Line and Define eye tape. And someone suggested that because these were so long, I should just cut one in half. So, I'm going to try that. then I could get twice as many uses out of them. So, uh, I've got so much moisturiser on that today. The tape's not sticking very well. <laughs> so when I did my palette bingo with Maria with um, from ba Agave Love Girl, she was saying how she was having trouble with some of the shadows and getting the pigmentation in that. And I didn't have that problem with mine. And she was wondering if it was the eye primer. Now she was using the Milani eyeshadow primer, which I happen to have, and I was using the NYX pigment primer. So I thought I'd do one side with the NYX and one side with the Milani and see if it makes any difference. Just I'm curious. So I'm going to put the next one on this side. So the next one is quite tacky. And I'm going to put the Milani one on the other side. Do you want something? So I've put that on. I'd say the next one feels just a little bit more tacky, but there's not a huge difference in the feel of it at the moment. So let's see what happens when I put the eyeshadow on. So I'm going to start off, if I didn't say that already, I'm going to start off with the autumn look today. So my Emily Wants palette out and I'm going to start with I think I'm going to start with Midwest I need a fluffy brush I'm just going to use my BH Cosmetics number 8 brush and I'm going to put that in here now when I look at the Emily Wants palette, there's a lot of cool tones in here because Emily is more of a cool toned kind of girl. And I'm a definitely a warm toned kind of girl. So this will be one of the few palettes that I have that have a lot of cool tones in them.
and then I'm going to go in with Did I see any difference? I don't think I saw any difference when I put that colour on. Can you see any difference? It looks the same on both sides to me. <laughs> um, I might go in with Juice Paid. Slightly darken that up. Still not seeing any difference. Then I'm going to go in with Apartment, which is the dark, dark brown here. It's a very cool toned dark brown. And I want to put that on the outer corner. I can't see any difference with this one either, but I am so far used all brown mattes, so that could be why I'm not seeing any difference. Looks good to me so far. So far, so good. And then I'm going to go in with Grateful, which is this colour here. So yeah, it's a very light green with a gold shift. And that's, that's just dry. It's perfectly pigmented and looks good to me. And the other side looks perfectly fine as well. So um, I, I, I don't think the base is making any difference. I wonder if some people just had palettes that weren't as good as others or something. I don't know. Is the formula different in some palettes? Because we'll see when we get to the end of these four looks if I've had any problems. Because I haven't had any so far. Uh, I'm gonna go in. Just a little bit of side hustle here to blend out the brown and the grateful a little bit. That's what we're looking like so far. I'm going to take the tape off. A sharp line you get when you use tape. <laughs> and I think I'll do my base and then I will come back and finish the eyes. So now I'm ready to do my under eyes. If I can get my palette open. <laughs> and basically I'm just going to do the brown under here. So I will do that. The various browns that are used. Uh, to use a little brush. Now do I want to use an eyeliner first? Yes I do. I'm just going to use a brown eyeliner. This is just my LA Girl Glide On Gel Bright Liner. to do a wing today and I'm going to tight line and then I'll come back. So I'm not sure that my wings are even. I think this one's a bit bigger but never mind. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with my designer brands glitter which I haven't used for a while. It'll be interesting to see how clumpy it is. And I'm just gonna put a little bit just under here. Add a little sparkle. Oops, that was a bit too much. And 
and now I'll put my mascara on. So I'm going to spray my face with my, I should have done this before I put my mascara on. I might end up with mascara dots. It's nearly finished. Yep, mascara dots. Oh, that's the one that had the glitter on it. <laughs> oh, that wasn't smart. Now I've got glitter all over my face, as always. It's just going to be glittery now. So, um, <laughs> that's what I'm looking like so far. And I'm going to get my highlighter brush. And I'm going to go into Fiji from my... BYS Highlighter 2 palette because if you've watched any of my videos before you know I like coloured highlighter and I like to match it with my eyeshadow because I'm just weird like that and I particularly like this highlighter, green highlighter. So it's got a, a very kind of goldy sheen shift to it, which I think looks really flattering. So now I need to choose a lipstick for my autumn look. Keep in mind that it's an autumn look when I choose my lipstick. So I had this one a while, this is a Shiseido Moisture Stick Lipstick in Warm Earth. And there is my final autumn look. I think it turned out really pretty. And I can't see any difference between the side I used the Milani one and the next one, the primer. I don't think it made any difference whatsoever. So today I'm doing my second look, which is my winter look with my Emily Wants palette. So today I'm going to start, I'm going to do a kind of a red burgundy burgundy wine kind of colour look. So I think I will start off with Love Tones. This one here. And today I've just prepped my eyes like I normally do with my next pigment primer. But I haven't set it. I'm going to blend that out a bit with Midwest, which is this colour here. Stick the top there, just to warm up the top and blend it out. And then I'm going to go in with the cream. Put my microphone on. I'm going to go in with Pi Fi. Then I'm going to go in with Happy. And I think I might, hmm. yeah, I might go into pizzazz here, just for this inner bit here. And I might go into cupcake. Do I just put my finger down one? That looks way more orangey than I thought it was going to next to those other burgundies, but it still fits in. I 
when I'm going to use my burgundy pencil. This is Essence Berry Fantastic. And I'm going to go in with Hi Fi here and just go over that liner with a little tiny brush. Okay, that's what we're looking like so far. All the colours are working fine. So I'm going to do the rest of my face and then come back. So I'm ready to do my under eyes. Now on my cheeks today I have got my Revolution Blush Queen palette. So I used this one here on my cheeks and then I used this one here as my highlight. Okay, it says 8 blush palette. How can some of those be blushes? Right? That's not a blush. It's, uh, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, but that's beside the point. So um, I'm going to go in and do the rest of my eyes. So I'm just going to do um, underneath. And I'm going to use, start off with Love Tons here and then go into the darker purple one that I stuck on the outside, the Pi Fi one. And then I'm going to go into Oh Heavens, which is the cream shimmer. I'm going to put that just underneath that little wee gap there. And now I'm going to do my mascara and my finer lipstick. Okay, so for my lipstick I'm going to go into my Revlon Colourstay Lip Liner in Currants. And then I'm going to use my Karen Morel Scarlet Blaze Lipstick. And I just topped that in the very middle with my um, Metal Lip Liquid in Pink Nickel from the Body Shop. And there is my winter look today. I think it turned out nice. It's a very smoky eye, basically. Okay, in the spring look, in the summer look, I'm afraid I had some technical difficulties and my microphone wasn't working properly. So I'm just going to fast forward and put some music on it and at least the video won't be a million years long like they usually are when I do four locks. So um, yeah, I just didn't want to re-film them and I didn't want to do a voiceover either. So I'm just going to fast forward through them and you can still see the look and the colours that I used and how it turns out, and you'll still hear my thoughts on the palette at the end.
my thoughts on this palette are that they they all worked fine, which makes me wonder. Do some palettes have a different formula? Is there some variation in the formula in the palettes? Because when Maria and I did the co collaboration with this palette, with the palette Bingo Face Off, and I'll link that down below if you wanted to have a look, she had a lot of trouble with a lot of hers, and she's had trouble with hers in the past. I didn't have any trouble with mine. I used most of the colours. I didn't use Capricorn. And I didn't use Hobby. And all the colours I used worked fine. I didn't have any problems. And I also tried out in the first look, I used the Milani eyeshadow base on one side because that was the eyeshadow base Maria was using and the next on the other side and it didn't seem to make any difference I couldn't tell any difference between the two they said both seemed to work just fine so <laughs> I, I don't know what to say except I'm kind of curious if some of the palettes are not as good as others because I haven't had any trouble with mine showing up. She had a lot of trouble with Top Story and with Bell Violet, so Top Story was the gold. I didn't have any trouble with the gold. Mine's nice and pigmented. And I've got it on my eyes today. And the Bell Violet I've got underneath that's showing up fine. So I didn't have any problems. They, some of the colours, like the green that I'm wearing, which was grateful, this one here, they are pale colours, but they are showing up as well as I would expect them to, so I, it worked fine for me. <laughs> so maybe I just got really lucky that I got a palette that works well. <laughs> and so that's all for me today, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching everyone, bye.